Hey there, it's Dante. Today I'm gonna to show you a high level overview of Company Cam. Company Cam is a photo solution for contractors. We work with roofing, restoration, HVAC, plumbing, electrical, you name it. If you're a service contractor and photos are important to you, you've come to the right place. If you haven't done so already, go to companycam.com to start your free trial. As the Company Cam user, you have access to both the mobile and web versions of Company Cam. If you're in the office or on your laptop, the desktop version will allow you to see your photos and projects in real time. The mobile app will be used for primarily for capturing information out in the field. Once you set up your account, the first thing you're going to want to do is add your employees. This is important because you want everyone's information tied to the same account. That means you're no longer texting photos, emailing back and forth, or storing photos in various places. I'm gonna click the Users tab up at the top, and then from there, I'm going to select a new invitation. You're gonna wanna do this for each of the users you wanna add to your company cam account. Simply put in their first and last name, email and phone number, and we're gonna send them both an email and a text to sign up onto one account. From there, at the bottom, we have user permissions. We have some custom-made ones you can choose from, but you can also scroll through each of these tabs and turn them on and off, depending on what you want your specific users to look like. From there, hit send invite and you're ready to go. Before I show you how to create a project, I want to point out the different tabs on the home screen. As you can see, the home page is set up to give you a quick glimpse of what's happening in the field at that very moment. So at the top here, we have nearby projects, followed by company feed, and then we have my specific photos and projects. At the bottom here, I have starred people and starred projects. You can star certain employees or projects you want to keep a close eye on. And as I scroll to the very bottom, you'll see that we have the button that says Customize Home Screen. This is going to allow you to move any of those tabs around, again, to meet those needs as you see fit. Now I'm going to show you how to start a project. GPS makes it quick and easy to start a project or even jump into a project that you previously created. All you have to do is start by clicking the blue button in the bottom with the camera, and that's gonna bring up your nearby project. So you can quickly jump into that project that you were previously at, or if you hit the new project button, that's going to use GPS, like I mentioned, and show your location. From there, simply hit create, and then that's gonna allow you to name it. So you can put in the client's address or a project number, and then hit take a photo here. Since I'm in the studio right now, I'm gonna have Jared take a photo from out in the field. So as soon as Jared takes those photos, you're gonna see that they're showing up in my company cam in real time. On each photo, you're gonna see three things. You'll see who took the photo, when the photo was taken, and where. There may be times when you're out in the field where a photo doesn't quite cut it. In that case, you can capture quick videos with audio to allow you more context. As Jared's taken those photos, he has the option to edit and annotate those out in the field. But as you'll see from my phone, I can also do that on my end later on. So I'm gonna jump into my project here and I'm gonna click on one of the photos that he took. And then I'm gonna hit the little pencil button, which is the edit at the bottom. So now you'll see on my screen in the top right that you're gonna have a bunch of different editing options. So I can point to anything um, I can circle an item that I need to call out as well. Basically, the edit and annotation is going to show you exactly what to focus on and eliminate any unnecessary communication. I then also can go to the bottom and hit the comment button and add additional context here. You can also hit the at symbol. So this is going to allow you to mention anyone on your team. So I'm going to scroll down to Rick and then I'm gonna post that. Um, I can tell him to take a look at this. And as you can see, that notification came through. If they're in the office, they will see that there as well. You also have the option to add a voice note. Say your hands are a little tied up, just click the voice note button and when you hit start recording, this is gonna allow you to do up to a 30 second voice note here. So say what you need to say, hit stop, and then save. This is also going to save in that comment section for you to go back and look at at any point. The next thing I'll show you here is our tags. 
One option Jared would have had out in the field is to set that tag beforehand. So say he's on the south side of the building, he can go ahead and add that south side tag, take the 10 photos he needs to, and then when he's done, that tag will automatically be placed on those photos. Or we have the option to also add that on the back end. So now that I've this photo's already been taken, I'm just gonna hit that tag button. I'm gonna select east side on this one, and I'm gonna save that tag. The tags are great because they're just gonna allow you to organize your photos further, whether that's by room, side of the house you're on, status, or even by task. The users in your company cam account have access to those photos at all times. But when you wanna share your photos outside of company cam, we give you three ways to do so. A gallery, a timeline, or a PDF report. Let's start with a gallery. I'm gonna select the project that I wanna send my photos from. And then with a the gallery, I'm gonna select the photos I want to send. Now that I've selected the photos, I'm gonna go up to share, click gallery, and that's gonna ask me if I wanna include who, when, and where the photo was taken. So I can toggle that on or off. I'm simply gonna click get link to gallery, and that's gonna give me a few options. I can copy the link, send it via email, Facebook, or on the mobile, I can even text it. I'm gonna click view gallery to show you guys what that looks like. It's gonna have your company name and it even gives you the option to download those photos. Going back into the project, I'll show you the second way you can do so. The second way is gonna be a timeline report. Without selecting any photos, simply go up to the top and hit the share button. That's gonna allow you to then share that timeline link. Just like with the gallery, you can copy the link, email it, or again, on the phone, send it via text. I'm gonna click view timeline. You can see this looks just a little bit different. The great thing about the timeline link is that it's live. So if you sent that to me today and you went back in the field tomorrow and took additional photos, I can see those photos coming through without any extra work on your part. The last way to do so is a PDF report. Again, I'm gonna go back into the project. I'm gonna individually select the photos I want there. And up at the top, next to the share button, I'm gonna hit reports. Create new report from there. As you'll see here, our reports give you a lot of free range. So you can title that report. Again, put in the homeowner's name or work order number. You can also toggle on and off all these different items below. So you, if you wanna include your company logo or not, do whatever fits best for you guys. You can also rearrange all the photos. So I'm gonna simply move this one to the top and then I'm gonna scroll down and this is where it's gonna allow me to add additional text to each of these photos. So I'm just gonna put a few random words here so you guys can see that. Now I'm gonna go back up to the top once I've added everything I want to show, all the verbiage, that type of thing, and I'm gonna generate a PDF. From there, simply download it, and then that's gonna allow me to share it out to anyone it needs to go to. The document scanner makes it really simple to add all the necessary documents to each project. All you have to do is go into your photo mode, hit that scan button, hold it a little ways above your document, and wait for it to turn from blue to green. Once you do that, you can hit save on the document and then save as a PDF. As you can see, as I go into my project and click into that project I just scanned the document into, that scan document is going to save right next to photos in the documents tab. This is great because everything remains stored in one place. Before and afters make marketing your work easier than ever. To create a before and after in company cam, simply choose your before photo, take after photo, and line it up with the before. You can also do an outline that gives you a different view. Sometimes it makes it a little easier to line up that way. Snap the photo. And as you can see, it's gonna give us a bunch of different templates to choose from. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna select this Zavadil, and I'm going to simply save that to my project. And then in the bottom, you can see it says share to your customers. To ensure that you're not scanning through hundreds of photos, CompanyCam gives you a filter button to speed things up.
To do so, simply click on the Photos button at the bottom and then select your photos at the top. Hit the Filter tab, and from there you have a few different options. The first one allows you to sort. You can either choose to look at your newest photos first or you can put the oldest ones at the top. You can also look at tags, set a specific tag and only see those subset of photos, or you can even look at a specific user. And at the top of your company feed, there's a search bar that's gonna allow you to type in exactly what you're looking for. Thank you for taking time to go through this high-level demo with me today. If you have any questions or wanna schedule a one-on-one -on -one demo, go to companycam.com forward slash demo.